Hello, my name's Rachel, and this is Russell, an Airedale Terrier. He's the star of my children's stories, Ruffle the Rail Dog. Say hello, Ruffle. Ruff, ruff. Ruffle has exciting adventures at a railway station just like this one. He lives very near the station and comes down to meet Eric, the station master. Eric makes sure that Ruffle keeps safe on his visits here. This is Eric, the station master. Give everybody a wave, Eric. I know Ruffle. Shall we tell the listeners one of your stories? We shall. Okay, come on then. Ruffles walks flying high. Eric had invited Ruffle to go for a walk with him on the beach. Jack, Eric's grandson, was staying and Eric was having lots of fun thinking of all the activities Jack and him could do together. They were going that afternoon to fly Jack's new kite. They arrived at the beach, the tide was out and the beach stretched before them long sand to the sides and to the front of them. They picked a spot well away from everybody. Ruffle loved the sand. He loved the feel of sand between his toes. He loved to dig big, big holes in the sand and run round sand going everywhere. Once he dug a few decent holes, Ruffle then sat down to watch Jack and Eric fly the kite. The bright diamond shape bounced on the breeze as it soared in the sky. Jack could control it well and Eric was impressed as the, as the kite dipped and soared. Then Jack gave a cry of dismay as the string tethering the kite snapped. The kite, unleashed from its rain, disappeared off into the distance. They trudged back. Jack inconsolable. Even Ruffles' licks on his hand couldn't help. When they got to the station, Jack and Ruffle went and sat on one of the green benches. But Eric had already got ideas, plans for what his new kite would look like. From the station door, lots of banging and soaring was going on. Then eventually Eric appeared and Jack's face turned into the biggest smile for there, in Eric's hands, was a new kite. Grandad! cried Jack. Oh, you're the best! For there was a kite in the shape of an Airedale, just like Ruffle. Grandad, no one will have a kite like that on the beach! cried Jack. Come on, Ruffle, let's go and fly my new kite. And off they went, back to the beach, to fly Jack's new kite. Join us next time for another Ruffle the Rail Dog story. Remember, you can learn more about Ruffle's stories on our website, www.ruffletheraildog.co.uk or follow us on Facebook or Twitter. Until next time, goodbye. Rap, rap.